Oof. All right, I think uh, I think we're ready to go. So let's switch over to the stream itself here. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Wu Tang here. A happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there, because it's November tenth, uh, which is Veterans Day. A happy Marine Corps birthday to all the Marines out there, like me. Hoorah, Devil Dog nonsense and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's Monday. We're going to get back into Final Fantasy VII here in a bit. What is this nonsense? Okay, we're going to get back into Final Fantasy VII here in a bit. Unfortunately, this is uh, <laughs> kind of a boring place to come back in because we, we, we're going to go right into a, <clears throat> a kind of boring words I can't think of. We're going to go into kind of a blah, blah. There we go. Sorry, I'm doing like 20 things at once and it's messing me up. We're going to be going into a slightly boring dungeon. Uh, and yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. We should be all right. Okay, hopefully it auto detects all the movement. Yeah, all right. Let us jam our Final Fantasy VII Disc 1 into this ting here. The tingo up. And a boom, boom, boo boom, boom. Yeah. So I'm a little low energy today. I'm feeling sick. There's something wrong with me. I, I got like bit by something. So my fucking eye, my left eyelid is like super swollen and sore. And my eye's been running. And I'm sure if Tony was here in the chat, he would be making fun about how I have pink eye or something. Oh, my controller's not plugged in. Let me fucking fix that. Oh, there we go. I just paused all the video while I took care of that. But now we should be good. Alright, let's see. So if I remember correctly, last time we were here, we were doing, yeah, this shit here. So we had learned about the creation story of the planet and what's going on, and now I'm supposed to come over here and talk to people. So let my ladies off here. Oh boy, that's quite loud. Hi, kitty. Cat is coming over to say hi and happy Veterans Day and stuff. So, happy Veterans Day, kitty cat. Oh, I was going to pick you up, but you fell down and now I can't reach you. So there's a cat down there. And he's down there. Hello, X. How are you? What a boring place. Just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's find some materia. No! Fuck off, chick! Mr. Poop. Oh yeah, I forgot I named all these characters terrible names. It's been months since I've touched this thing. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, brings back memories. I believe her name is just Martyr. Yeah, it's Martyr. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Setra and the Promised Land. And about jumping on the grenade for my friends. Literally and metaphorically in this game. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. Sounds like a perfect time to strap a bomb to my belly and do things. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> but I'm, we're here for you, right? Oh yeah, my character's name is Kliggs because that was the accidental... I can't, I think his name was supposed to be Klitz or something. I don't remember. It's been months, whatever. No, but I'm the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? No, we can help. We just need to put some more new Cetra babies in you, girl. <laughs> she knew it, too. It's like, but can't we help you? And she's like, we would, but that would have to mean physical contact between two Japanese characters. Oh, yeah, his name's Cuxalot. <laughs> so there's Cuxalot. Let's talk to... I think her name's Honkers. Yeah, it's Honkers. Kliegs. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? Make you remember all sorts of things. Like your cup size. 
No clicks. Five years ago, my cup size was smaller than it is right now. <gasps> I'm terrible. It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? What's your cup size? Feels like you're going far away. You really, really are you, right? She keeps asking him and acting that way towards him, and he's he just does he's completely oblivious to it. Anybody who's played this knows the stupid uh, uh, the, the plot contrivance, plot twist, dump thing. Anyways, this is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday when we saved the planet from the Shinra that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Gisesi, all martyrs for the cause. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Oh, he literally said that. Really? To save the planet? We all hate the Shinra. There's a part where Kanye goes from being basically a terrorist to kind of admitting to himself why he's so angry. Do I even got, I got to go on? Will they ever forgive me? Forgive that ass. Right now I really don't know, but one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm going to do it. Good of you. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Let him decide for themselves. Good. Ah, my find is gone. I'm going to do it. Avalanche is born again. Let's see. Talk to you one more time. I don't remember. Long ago. When I was still very small, we were all around this flame. Yay! I found the right trigger right away. No, never mind. Wahapwa. It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine. But when I remember my father, my heart is full of anger. He made me take out the trash when I was but a boy. And I was trying to play Halo 3. I hate you, Dad. You won't buy me my Linkin Park CDs. You really can't forgive your father? Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. X, are you still in there? Let me know if the audio is okay. All right, thanks. You're the best, fam. Come the Naki. There's something you should see. It's my dick. This place may be dangerous. Cliggs, will you and one other person come with us? Let's take a looky loo. Alright. Who have I been running with? I can't remember who I've been running with. 29, 23, 28, and 26. We'll take along honkers. Big, massive intellect shit. It is. Oh, I need to remember all the buttons. Four slots. Silver arm looks better. Silver and. Oop. Oh, wow. I forgot I bought shit. Oh, nope. Carbon bangle, platinum. Yeah, let's throw a platinum on him. Get some double going here. Oh, God. Cover, enemy skill. Ice, Roma, and lightning. Do I have double on all of his stuff? I think I do. Ice, earth, manipulate, different, fire, all, choke and log, long range. Okay, fire, revive, poison, restore, lightning and heal. What else do I have? I've got some pretty good materia that I'm gonna have to level up at some other point later. Obviously any grinding I'll do, I'll do off screen. That hit point plus. That is something I actually want to keep on me. So screw it, we'll throw it on her. We'll bring her hit points up a bit. Order seems fine. Alright, let's go. Da 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 Alright, we're gonna go up here. It'll give me an opportunity to save again. Was I rotating shit here? I don't think I was. It's been so long since I've touched. Nope. 
But I pretty much know everything that's gonna happen in this game, so I know when to make an extra save and blah 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 blah. blah. No big deal. Alright, I think it's this way. Yeah, here we go. Are you guys ready for more cultural appropriation than what we're seeing right here? Actually, not really. There isn't any specific culture being appropriated. Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, Merry fucking Christmas. Veterans Christmas. Cat, stop tickling the bottom of my feet with your fucking tail. Cat is a son of a bitch. Alright, come in, come in. Hey, aren't you going with us, Grandpa? Now fuck off! I'm gonna die. Old man like me should go first. I'll be right behind you. Here we go. So this is the slightly boring dungeon I was talking about. It's kind of neat. It's just I was never... Like... This character development moment was pretty cool the first time. The first one or two times I played the game, but now for me it's just like, ugh, another thing to go through to get to the other stuff. But I'll stop my bitching. There's no reason for me to be bitching. Bitching and whining on. Alright, so this is a gigantic nasty maze. This is a strange looking rock. Break it open. Oh god! It was full of stuff. It's full of these actually awesome ghost people. Alright, I don't remember what any of my stuff is. Puxalot has manipulation. Punkers can use bio. There's no reason to attack anything. So, like, this is cool for 20 years ago when this came out, but... I recently, or I've recently been playing uh, Final Fantasy XV, and holy shit, the summons in that game are on a whole nother level. It is nuts. Uh, let's use a couple of high potions. You wanna get high? That's my last J, asshole! Actually, it's not. I have lots more J's. Plenty of looking rock. Break it open. So there's actually one of these I do need to break open. I don't remember which one it is, but it's fine. We'll get more, uh, get more experience here. Just a little bit, and it won't take too much longer. It's a fairly small dungeon that we're in here. Every little bit of experience helps. Oh no, random battle. So many bataru. Uh-oh. The fighting has happened. I could be mistaken. Ah. I could be mistaken, but I'm fairly certain that one of these guys has an enemy skill I may need. Poisoned? No, he's stopped. Come on, we're almost done with this. There we go. Oh, back pain. Should have used a tent at that save point. Eh, we'll be alright. There's nothing in here that's particularly troublesome. That's the word I was going for there. Break it open. Oh no, another fight. There's no point to me breaking these open at this point. I should just continue going on, but whatever, fuck it. That fire too is really good for here. It seems like all the enemies are uh, weak to fire in here, so just one shot them all. Just, I might have just gotten a level there. That's cool. Okay, broke open the rock and another... God, I forgot. I'm going between, like, this and... That's right. Bio does nothing to them. There's 
a good critical hit. He's poisoned. I forget what this limit break does. Oh yeah! It was to split you in half from the stomach up one. Should have used the other one. The other one would have done more damage to all the enemies. So X, this is your first time seeing Final Fan. No, that's not true. I know you had a PlayStation 2. I don't know if you ever played this damn thing. You did get a level there. How oh, nice. I'm just searching around for items. It's been a long time. I don't want to miss nothing, you know? That would be a bad... Oh, God! An old man! Kill it! Kill it with old fire! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas. Everyone here is a ghost of the Gi tribe killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the life stream. We still have far to go. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Veterans Christmas Day. Damn. Another uh, match of magic. That'll be the good one. That beta skill that we got, the one that's like Fire 3, is going to be really good for later um, in this area because it's a Fire 3 spell. It causes a shit ton of damage, and the enemies are weak to fire. So it'll definitely take care of the boss in the area really well. Or is this the boss that's uses fire. I can't re I never remember this shit. We're actually getting a fairly good amount of XP from these guys. So even they are even though they are incredibly annoying. Mm, it's not the end of the world. Why not? Jam a bunch of ethers down my throat. Look at this creepy-ass place. There's oil on the ground over there. I don't want to slip in it. I'm pretty sure these guys have an enemy skill. Death sentence. There it is. Yeah! I learned it. I wonder if this bio attack is going to actually Probably not. Oh, hey, it did do something. And it poisoned some of them. How about that? So, one of the things that these earlier Final Fantasy games didn't do very well, that wasn't done very well, I think, until 10, was the implementation of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The implementation of, like, negative status effects on enemies. The enemies would always be able to do it to you, no problem, and it was always something you had to worry about. Um, but, um, when it came to, like, breaking enemies' armor, stunning enemies, etc., added effect materia. What does that do? Adds materia status to equipped weapon or armor. So... I wonder if that means it adds, like, ice, earth, etc., or if this is the one that adds, like, poison and stuff, which it might. I can't remember, because I know the elemental does one, and the added effect does another. And I'm not sure which is which. Woohoo! If I'd slid to the left there, I would have, uh, gotten impaled, and it would have sucked. Not really. I mean, it does, like, a fair amount of damage. But, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. <sighs> so my Xbox power supply exploded. I was gonna actually be recording stuff here soon. X knows. We were gonna be recording stuff soon, but uh, one of my materials gained a level. Uh, we were going to be recording stuff soon, but, uh, you can't until it's fixed. And... I? 
unfortunately right now not sure if it's the power supply or the other thing, so I got a new power supply. And hopefully that fixes it, otherwise I'm going to have to buy myself an entirely new console. Which is fairly annoying, as you can imagine. Oh, which sucks because we had some really fun ideas we were going to be doing here soon. Ugh. Yeah, could be worse. Actually, X, I'll talk with you after the stream. That might not end up being the end, or that might not end up ruining plans if we do something very specific, and I'll mention it more later. But uh, you might actually like this idea, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. I got another ether, and I got a new weapon for Mr. Poop. What did I name? Barrett, I named him Kanye. Yeah, that's right. It, uh, I think it fits it pretty well. Yeah, I'll punch you in the dick. Remember, we're, we're about level 30, I think it is. We're, like, just below. We get to a point soon where, um, equipping the right earth level up. Sweet. We get to a point soon where having the right weapon equipped, um, and just our basic level will give us the opportunity to be able to one-shot regular enemies, which becomes really useful because then you're not having to worry about using MP for, like, uh, leveling. And then you can just burn through it all really fast when you get to... This goes somewhere. Where the hell am I? Those two attacks should be fine. <sighs> so this is what I was talking about, about this, uh... This dungeon being kind of a pain in the ass. Damn. Leave her alone, she's a nice lady. She has enough problems. She has to find underwear fit those things. Yes, I know, I'm terrible. Wait, that goes to that one. That goes straight through. And now we get to fight a giant spider. So say it, the spider. <laughs> we got these bolt spells. I think these things are kind of supposed to count as mini bosses because they take a ton of damage. And look at what. Look at how much damage they're doing. Get that cure in there. Let's try Quake 2 on that. I know Quake does a ton of damage. You know, and I want to save that for the next one because I know I'm going to have to fight more. There we go. Okay. This is surprising. Normally we get, like, ten people for the Final Fantasy streams, and we're only at two so far. Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see. There we go. I'm trying to get everything in here. I'm not trying to just rush through it, so... Part of the reason we're running into uh, problems here. We got two people with limit breaks now. Surely a 
can't do... Oh, son of a bitch. Man, it's been so long since I've streamed like a PlayStation 1 game. This is nice. Maybe we'll arrange everything on one screen so I can see all the stuff, what's going on. This is good. Alright, what do we got? An X potion. X gonna give it to you. I probably made that joke before. If I have, I'm sorry. Ice does anything to these guys. Yeah, just fine. If I had a sense thing equipped, I could check them out, but... Oh, I should also mention, if you guys hear noises from around here, my uh, daughter is at home sick. All right, here we go, this takes us up here. Here's my daughter is at home sick, sick as a dog, violently ill. So she is hanging out in the other room. Shit. Oh wow, I didn't even need to... Damn. Sweet. Anyway, so if, you, if a wild baby suddenly appears, just throw your Pokeballs at it, it's fine. God damn it. Eliza! One moment. Okay, fri I'm friggin' back. Hi. Thank you for your patience. <sighs> I don't remember what the hell I was talking about. I don't remember what's going on. Slightly flustered. What did I miss while I was gone? Oh, ew, what? Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to get over there. I don't remember. That's fairly annoying to me. Whatever. <clears throat> in my opinion, this is one of the worst dungeons in the game, so it sucks that I have to start the stream with this. Eh, could be worse. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? You doing all right, X? Hopefully the answer is a resounding, oh fuck yeah. Because <clears throat> like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm feeling a little shitty. 
Yeah, we got all yeahs. Punch that stupid spider! With its stupid, weird butthole mouth. I asked if you were doing all right. Also, should I start drinking on Stram? The answer to both is probably yeah. Oh, hey, I can get through there. I got a turbo ether. Yes, I know, it's not an ether, it's an ether. I'll give you the ether. Yeah! This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! We're almost there. Looking at me... Oh! I actually detected her. <sighs> yeah, I'll have... I'll start drinking later. Oh god, look at that wall! Let's, uh... Top ourselves off here. And then let's go fight this... Weird, creepy elf face. What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghosts of the ghee like stagnant air. This can't be. Oh, look at that. Ah! Oh, God, this is the one that uses fire. It uses fire to heal itself. means Beta is gonna suck for this. Match your magic will be all right. So now they're controlling Cucks a lot. And Bio does nothing. My characters are not set up for this. Great. Good news is we still have these ice spells. And Bolt. Not as effective, but still does stuff. Chokamog, Ifrit. I don't have Shiva equipped on anybody. Chokamog should do alright, though. Ah! Ramamama. Ramalama Ding Dong. So it's inside of me, casting fire on me. Yeah, kill it. Boom. Sit normal. Bonkus. Overload this son of a bitch with lightning and ice. Things just like this pissed off dead corpse ghost and it's getting lit on fire by the god of thunder. You, struck by lightning by the god of... You know what I mean. Shut up. Hey, I forgot I have uh, cover on Cliggs. Which is good. And those ice spells do a fair amount of damage. Does it cast fire on him every, every time that... He doesn't attack? I think it does. We'll give you the blood fang. Yeah. Sounds like, oh wow, you do no damage. I got all my MPs back. It's a good spell. Get you with that ice bolt, dog. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember how to get that thing out of him. I think physically attacking him might take it out, but I do not remember. Wow, I really shit. I'd remembered this being like a poison boss, but I guess I'm wrong. Can he hit him? Hey, look what's back!
Oh look, you do do drain spell. I'm killing these little fire things. That was super annoying. Damn, the bolt actually does a ton of damage. Yeah, heal yourself, you little bitch. I'm gonna kill you. I'll kill you, I'll kill your family. Ah. Okay, Glim Hazard will finish it off. Kill it! Kill it! Finish it! Kill it with fire! Hey! That was a good way to finish the battle. I got a wiser staff. Thank you, Cliggs. Because of you, we survived. Somebody gave my daughter an entire Hershey bar for Halloween. Lucky kiddo. Screw it, I'm having another Twix. Nanaki, you have grown strong too. Oh yeah. Now that I know it wasn't a mistake bringing you here because we're not dead. Come, I have something I want to show you. Right over here. It's me eating this Twix bar. I don't know. That's a really good materia. Oh my god. Fuck it. I mean, mm, mm. Fat Kid live on stream. This is. I hope this plays well for the audio. <laughs> the warrior who, warrior who fought against the Gi, he kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. His name is Fuxalot, father of Cuxalot. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki, look at your father, the warrior Sato. There's actually a cool character development moment. Oh, look at that! Zoom in on its play. Thing looks all fucked up. It also looks a lot different from um, Red 13. Sato continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon, even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. I don't think that's how that works. Actually, he looks all fucked up. Even after they all ran away, Sato continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now. He thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Sato. That is Sato, did mother know? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. She knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not tell a soul, which is really fucking weird. They said we should forget about this cave. Pligs, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Yeah, I'm gonna be over here in this creepy poison cave with these honkers. I mean with honkers. What's the difference? I'm terrible. Nanaki, I want you to continue your journey with Pligs and the others. Grandpa! Listen, Nanaki. Pligs said they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done, for even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. 
part of the planet something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I'm too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130! No wonder you ain't got no legs. That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them, for my sake. Grandpa! I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Oh, ho, ho. well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. Hadi Nanako. I am Nanako of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Sato. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name, so please, Grandpa. Show me your persona. Oh, something's happening! He's crying! He's listening to my chemical romance and cutting himself. I'm ruining this tender moment. I'm a terrible human being. Whatever. You all knew what you signed up for when you started watching this. Hey, it's a fire in my pants. Should we get going? So this is it. Cucks a lot. Just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Oh, back pain. Alright, this annoys the hell out of me. Because I'm going to throw these women's in my party here. And then you're going to be like, nope. Also, you got to wait for her to slowly walk her fat ass around that damn fireplace. Goodbye, Nanako. We'll see you again in Persona 4. Uh, you get it? Wait for me, I'm coming too. This is why this is annoying. If he was in your party, you'd have to go through the whole DHS system again and do all this stuff, which I'm gonna have to anyway, so. <clears throat> what happened? I think I grew up a little, that's what happened. Ah, oh, friggin' I. Ho oh, ho ho, come back whenever you need my knowledge. You walked up here, what do you have to say? I think the teachings of the study of life, planet life are true, but can people used to make O ever go back? Probably. All right. I got shit for her. So yeah, we're getting rid of her and putting Cucks a lot back in the party. Alright. Still got that materia on him. A lot of magic attacks. Let's get rid of that and replace it with Death Blow for the time being. I'll get back in. And now it's time to go on. We're actually, if I remember correctly, coming up on uh, one or two really interesting parts here. Uh, but we do have a while. Oh god! They keep stabbing me to death! Wow. Those guys don't take damage at all. Because they're turtles. They're supposed to be, like, super resilient to attacks. Even a... Uh, a connected death blow to do shit. Not so tough when it's magic now, are ya? Lit you on fire! They're actually managing to do a terrific amount of damage to me. Hey! 
Hey, we did it. Good shit. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. I had to hold up this way across the river there. Oh. Well, I'm out here. Use a tent. Where's my tent? There's my tent. Oh. I didn't need to. They refilled my life after that fight. Whatever. None of this matters. Oh, man. Look at that town up there in those weird mountains. I wonder what the deal is with that. I wonder if that isn't going to turn out to be incredibly important. I think this guy has an enemy skill I need. So I shouldn't have taken manipulation off. Or manipulate. Also, that thing's just a person with an alien head with wings. All right, I'm gonna throw manipulation back on there. Darn it. There we go, arrange everything. Wrong button. There we go. Alright, let's run around here and fight one of those things again. It'll take me a minute or two, but... Ugh! Oh! I don't think those guys are rare, so, so, uh, show, so it shouldn't take me too long. I sound like I'm drunk already. I don't think those guys are rare, so it shouldn't take me too long to fight another one of them. And I think we're actually getting... Eh, we're getting okay experience. Could be better, but it could also be much worse. Let's just run in a circle here. No, I'm not going to do that to you guys. That would be real bad. Huh. Damn it. <sighs> the higher up in level we go to, the faster that active time battle increases as well. Which will be nice. Yeah, punch him. Punch that dog. Ugh, I'm just gonna close that eye. Just gonna guts it. You guys like guts? Do you like guts? Do you like the Black Swordsman? Guts. The Black, not the real Black Swordsman. Kirito. God damn it. No, I've been good. No! Don't hurt me. I'll light you on fire. You're gonna die today, boy. Man, I should have had those queued up just in case. Yeah, you dead. I done killed you. You dead now. Deadly dead dead. Yes, I'm an idiot. I know I'm an idiot. Uh, if I go through two more battles and don't run into one of those guys, then I'll just I'll figure it out later. Which, if that is the case, sorry for wasting everybody's time. But... God damn. I think those guys really are rare. That fire, too, isn't actually doing that much damage. Come on, kill it! Come on, do it! There we go. Oh, back pain. Alright, one more. 
One more to fight the asshole I need to fight. And if I can't fight the asshole, then I'll do it later. Come on, do it. Come on. Come on. Give me that son of a bitch. Damn it. You know what? I'm angry. Eat my beta. Yeah! Hit you with this weird nuclear thing. Hey, I got a new... New limit break, hell yeah. Let's, uh... Oops, not too big, no limit. My first level three. There we go. Actually become... Super useful here soon. Let's get our asses into this town that looks kind of familiar from the outside. Oh shit! It's just Nibelheim. Why is this here? What? This was all supposed to be burnt down, right? I thought so. Then why? My house is still there too. <sighs> I wonder what's going on. I'm not lying! I remember the intense heat of the flames. Alright, first things first, go have a little rest. Hi, welcome. What's your story? This town was supposed to have been burnt down five years ago. What the hell is going on? Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. You're lying! We're from this town! Excuse me. That's so rude. If you can talk like that to me, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh. So I asked him the same thing again, and he's like, I got a lot of stuff to do, I can't talk. So clearly this is not, uh, you know, not on the level here. Alright. There's some important stuff to do in here, like talking to this man in a black cape. He has a tattoo number six, he has something. I got Luxorce off of him. He was saying, must go to reunion. But he was forcing it out. Like hard gas. So let's see, there should be a couple... things to see, people to do, places to eat in this town. So let's go through as much of it as possible, and then continue on. Alright, so this is... a store. I think it's just an item store. Don't need anything here. Can't even talk to her. Hey look, there's another one of them boys. It's a tattoo number 12. Hmm, he has something. An elixir. Can you hear the voice of Sephiroth? So those guys are supposed to be weird, creepy invalids. We nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. You're lying. You have anything to do with this town? How about being born and raised here? It's not nice to lie. Hey, fuck you, man. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not the crazy one. You're the crazy one. Hey, look. It's my house. There's my bed next to my mother's bed. A little creepy. What is it? I want to hear your story. I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was burned down. Are you sick saying those things? Get out of here! Go on, get! We don't want you here. Alright, I think this is Tifa's house. Yep. First of all, these guys. Must get it and bring it to Sephiroth. Oh, you gonna get it. This guy's number five. What does he have? He doesn't have anything. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there's some important stuff I need to do in this town before I leave this town, and I'm going to have to look up a guide for it, so the game's gonna go a little weird while I'm taking care of that, because I don't remember it off the top of my head. One of them is like, uh, is, is the combination for a safe, I think. The other one's a different thing. 
that's actually in this house. Tattoo number four. Receive Platinum Fist. Where are you, Great Sephiroth? So the Platinum Fist is a really good weapon for her, but it removes that second um, material link thing. And it uh, it's, it's good for double, that's it. But it's still, that's good for later when you're grinding out AP for your materia, which I'm obviously not doing right now. So this is her room. Play the piano. Aw, go for it. I remember. Alright, give me a second here. It's gonna be weird while I do this. I'm sorry. Tifa piano. All right, so I'm supposed to play... Oh, gosh darn it. Everything's gonna go all screwy while I take care of this. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, if it is, start blowing me up in the chat and I will let y'all know. All right, let's play this. Go for it. I remember X square triangle R1 plus triangle, R1 plus square, X square triangle, circle X square X. I've heard this melody somewhere before, managed to play well. We did it, okay. So there's that. This is gonna be a problem here for a second. Hashtag bear with me, hashtag toilet paper, I don't know. Yes, anal points, you massive child. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember what AP stands for. I can't remember if it's ability points or something like that. Um, but if you look at the materia, they have that AP number next to it. And basically, you level up materia alongside your characters using a different experience system and the nice thing about that is if you level up like one materia on one character you can just take it off and give it to another character and then they'll have access to that same ability um, which makes the characters interchangeable which kind of makes it reunion uh, which kind of makes it um, difficult to characterize um, or to, like, basically flesh out a character through combat, which is the main way you interact with the characters. Um, but it makes it so that you can switch through people without uh, too much of a problem. Erp. Hey, look, more boys. Wow, he's calling. Sephiroth is calling. Calling my booty. The Great Sephiroth is near inside the mansion, Erg the Great Sephiroth. All right, so we need to go into this motherfucking mansion. Oh shit, the moment we come in, we get us a fight. We're gonna do a fighting against these weird pumpkin doilies. I'm pretty sure they're gonna... Oh hey, everything missed, thank god. Because that causes confuse. Everything is super powerful against your characters, except for like regular poison in this stupid game. Stop hitting me with funny breath. I don't want your gas. Stop giving me shit. Well, hopefully, we should get her before she has a chance to murder us all. There we go. Looks like we will. All right. I must get rid of all those that stand in the way of my research, even that one from the Turks. I scientifically altered him and put him to sleep in the basement. If you want to find him, then search the area. But this is merely a game I thought of. It is not necessary for you to participate if you don't want to. There seems to be another letter. Read it. Move the dial on the safe carefully but quickly. You have 20 seconds. You cannot go past the numbers while turning. The four hints for the numbers are... Fourth row has been written in invisible ink. Dial four is right 97. Ah, uh, shit. I didn't mean to ignore it. Okay. So, 
There's a thing we gotta do up here. And so I'm gonna once again go on the, the internets here in a second. Yeah, we get the beta off before they have a chance to hit us. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna look it up again just to make it a little easier and have it right next to me instead of having to remember it. Because, you know, screw that. Also, I got a ton of experience points for dealing with those guys. Okay, uh... Final Fantasy Seven Mansion Safe. There we go. What is the code for the safe in the Nibbleheim Mansion? All right, once again, give me 20 seconds. There we go. Get that off of there. Hey, look, there's a thing, an enemy launcher, which is a melee weapon for Barrett, a.k.a. Kanye. All right, so it's right 36, left 10, right 59, right 97. Still open the safe. If I remember correctly, there's a mini boss in here. Left to 10. Shit. It's very sensitive. 36. to 59, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right to 97. Shit! Ah! I missed it by one. Crap! Poops! Alright, 36, 10, 59, 97. And I passed it again. We're gonna get this. I swear to God, I will get this. I will get this. La 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 la. Yes, there's a Borat. I made a Borat. 59. Ninety-seven. Eight, nine. Shit! <laughs> ah! This is the worst! This is the worst! Fuck, fucking, fuck, fuck, fucking, motherfucking, ass, fuck. You get a character and a, sp and a really, really good summon for this. Four, five, nine. Seven, eight, nine. There we go. Success. And a serious fight. All right, come on. Get into this thing so I can pause it really quick. Um, and for those of you who um, are familiar with the story, that thing that I'm fighting there is one of the creepy things from the thing in the thing. Yes, I'm happy I could be so... ...specific for you. No, that's one of those things that came out of the reactor in that flashback. So these things are still floating around this city, this town. There we go, use the summons as a chance to... Ooh, boy. You do some damage, buddy. All right. Let me just quake on this guy next, I think. I want to pay attention to the stuff because I don't know if he's weak to anything. And so I want to see if one thing does, like, markedly more damage than the other. I think fire. A lot of these guys in this area are weak to fire. Because uh, undead things are weak to fire. But I don't think that's undead, so I'm not 100% sure on that. about the same damage. Three hundred yeah, everything's about three hundred here so far. Let's try ice. Three hundred for bio. I mean I've got these like super skills here. Like beta. I can just spam them with that. Let's see. Ice does the same. This will do a fair amount of damage. Actually, quite a bit more. That was, uh, that was good. Hit you with the choke. The oh, no! Its hair's gone even worse. It's turned into animal from the Muppets. Let's 
Speaking of things getting even worse, since I have the chat up on the screen, God damn you for burning anal points, the word anal points, into my damn thing for the entirety of this stream. You son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, I can hit with Chocomuck twice. That's good. Better than anal points. Back pain. Oh, I'm gonna deal with Kid while I make the fighting happen here. Don't spill that. Fine, Kid. Oh look, it's stuck. Choco Mug, stop it, man! I remember those fucking banner smashes. Taking much damage from anything here. Look at that. Taking a lot more damage from physical attacks, though, so we'll just keep going with that. I want to see if maybe. Um... God damn it! You son of a bitch. I want to see if maybe putting haste with that added effect on somebody's armor will all have them auto haste when they start a battle. Because that would be pretty powerful if they can't. If that's the case. Hey, we won. So we got Cosmo Memory. Which I gotta find. So Cosmo Memory is his ultimate limit skill. So that's incredibly important. There's also the key to the basement here. And then over here is the Odin Materia. Which is incredibly powerful instant kill attacks against regular enemies and incredibly powerful uh, non-elemental damage to other enemies. Okay, so that's why we went in there, because you get, like, some of the best stuff in the game. I mean, Odin isn't one of the best summons in the game, but it is an incredibly powerful early game summon. The fact that I don't have him equipped yet is just because I don't have the stuff for it right now. Alright, I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Because this is a very... Oh shit, they reflect! Oh no! Oh god! This is... It's all... Oh shit! This is a problem. So those mirrors just straight up reflect damage. Oh god. Oh god. Can't use revive. Oh Jesus, look at this. I have been cut down. This is a bad. This is a very bad. Jam and ether in her butt. Come on, honkers. Cheer us up. No! You son of a bitch asshole mirrors! You are not gonna wipe my fucking party. I swear to dog. Son of a bitch. I went poorly. I went incredibly poorly. That was bad. Nope. Son of a fucking bitch. Here, I want to go back here and grab this stuff. There's a lot of good stuff in this area. Yeah. Hey, you guys remember this from like two or three streams ago? I think it was two, two streams ago. No, it was three streams ago. Because there's four streams of this what's gone up. Nope, we gotta take care of that first. These guys are a problem. Because they're confusing me, they reflect shit. Everything is incredibly poor. Ah! 
Oh, he fucking hit me with the, the silence. Like, the mini boss cost us less problems. And yeah, it's because I fucked up on that one thing, but still. Good sweet lord, the damage I'm taking. All right. So this is one of the reasons the key's important, because we're about to get, um... We're about to get a character who's a gigantic edgelord, which is apparently like everybody's favorite character in this game. People won't stop fucking talking about him. Hell, he got his own spin-off game on the PSP about being an edgelord. Killed your friend. Your other head. Candy is delicious. Meeting on stream. I'm banned in China. Milky Way. Wait. We must hear bar. I think this one's all physical. Damn. I hate fighting these guys because you just have to watch this over and over and over. Okay. That door is what we got the key for. Now I'm here to talk to this guy. Ah! <laughs> Delicious. So this is Vincent, Val Vincent Valentine. You were having a nightmare. I'm about to eat me some Swedish fish. What do you want? No, I had a candy. What I tell you about him? Be quiet. It's fine. I am two pieces. Go. How bad was your dream? A nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get the fuck out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. What do you know? Talk about Sephiroth. Talk about Edgelord. That's right, we were calling him Edgelord. But this guy's an Edgelord too. They're all Edgelords. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream, it's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth! You know Sephiroth? Oh, look at what are you doing? Weird. You start first. I'm gonna tell him about it. That's how it was. That was quick. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago? No, he found out he was created five years ago. And yes, he knows about the Gen Genova project. He was missing, but has just recently appeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. The inner ring of a NASCAR thing. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. Honkers is disappointed. She's like, she's drenched from the edge lordiness coming off of this guy. He's got like the hair flip. He's listening to My Chemical Romance. Hearing your stories has added upon me yet another sin. More nightmares shall come to me now, more than I previously had. Now please leave. No, fuck you. Who are you? I was with the Shinra Manufacturing Department and Administrative Research, otherwise known as the Turks. 
All right, so his name is Vincent Valentine. But, because he's such a little edgelord baby, we're going to name him... Fuck you, Dad. So now his name is Fuck You, Dad, forever. <laughs> yep. That's where we went with this. That edgelord crap. The Turks. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad, formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Kligs, formerly of Soldier. You're also with Shinra, then do you know Lucrezia? Who? Lucretia. No. The woman who gave birth to the Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Geneva Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Geneva Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment? I haven't saved in a while. This could be bad. There's no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the punishment was sleep? That's weird. <laughs> he says, fuck you, Dad. I'm going back to bed. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Okay. And that's the end of him. Now we never see him again. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's go off and do our stupid... Our continued shit here. These guys are annoying. guys are super annoying, but hopefully one or two magic attacks will take care of them. Your clicks here, but just pop everybody off. God, look at how much damage these guys take. Should have power leveled to like 70 off screen. Kind of it's not impossible, but super annoying. Very, very soon we'll get to a point where we can do that. Hey, cover's leveled up. Cover's really good because it increases his defense on top of all the stuff. Um, specimen B, code C, a scratch left by a fingernail inside the beaker. Let's get out of here. C project, specimen A, code Z. A scratch left by a fingernail inside. Feeding time, that's our chance. So something was left in there. Oh god, it's a Sephiroth! Being here brings back memories. Oops. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Look it up in a dictionary, you fucking child! Geneva will be at the reunion. Geneva will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. You mean she wasn't an ancient? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nibel. If you wish to find out, then follow. And here's the dumb Sephiroth theme. Reunion, calamity from the skies. Oh! What the fuck? You threw a three-pound glass ball at my chest. God! Destruct materia, which um, I think does death and stuff. It's the destruction materia. Escape report number two. We'll read this later. We'll come back here later to read this stuff. Anyways, time to go across the mountains and get us some more good stuff. Let's keep on keeping on. Fuck you, Dad. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Will we pass by a hot topic? Dunno, but we're going after him and Edgelord, so I guess sooner or later. Lucretia. Alright, I've decided to go with you. 
What? You're coming with us? Being a former Turks, I may be of help to you. All right then. All right, so we've got all the optional characters. Our party is nearly complete. We did a good job. We did a good one. We did, we did, uh, we did a good happen. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. We'll fuck with Vincent in a second here. Alright, just get in. Oh no. Ah, he hit himself! Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, except it's my guy, which is an incredible pain in the ass. God damn it. Oh, but he hit himself, so it's fine. Everybody's just about out to fuck themselves out here, so I think I'll be stopping at the end before heading out. So, I don't remember where... I don't remember where or when or if it's explained. No, they explain it somewhere. But basically, uh, this town was burned to the ground by Sephiroth, like, five years or six years ago, whenever the fuck it happened. Um, and what Shinra did was they rebuilt the entire town to keep people from being suspicious. Oh, this fucking fight. I'm so low on stuff. God. Hey, we'll get to see the first level three. All right, ready for this? Ready for this? It's gonna be so good. Oh, 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 he just kind of jumps up and shoots meteors out of his face. Actually, it's pretty fast. It's a good one. It's a good one. I remember from the last streams just remembering how much fun I was having playing through this game again. And I would have to say that that's been the case for all of the games that I've been replaying, either for the Twitch stream or for the channel, because I'm doing Xenogears over on the uh, YouTube channel. Give me a room. Yes, that's fine. Enjoy your stay. Um, I'm doing Xenogears over there, and not only am I enjoying the gameplay and the story again, um, well, I am, and not only, I'm, I'm taking a more critical look at the story as I talk, or as we play through the game. But I'm also really enjoying the combat and everything like that again. So it's been a lot of fun. I wanna, I'm coming here to save before we move on because I don't know when the next save point is going to be. And that, um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna die, but uh, clearly we've been having some issues with uh, the fights we've been having here. Here, I'm actually gonna fuck around with the materia on some of these characters. First of all, it's the best weapon we've got yet. I'm equip a carbon bangle on him. Diamond pin. Seraph comb, look at the damage difference on that thing. No. So I want to reset everybody's materia here and start from scratch. All right. Eh, Odin's probably not going to be the best. Let's arrange everything. Here we go. So we definitely want to have enemy skill on here. Cover or long range? We want cover. And I want hit point plus on him since he has the cover equips. All right, so what I'm going to do for stuff for him is time. So I'm equipping haste on him, and I'm going to use added effect to see if that's going to give me haste. Because uh, if that's the case, that'll work really well. I'm also going to put... 
Normally I would put a summon on him, but I don't want any summons on him right now because it'll lower his hit points a lot, especially um, Odin. Because if you look here, Odin re reduces the hit points, max hit points by 5% which is the most so far. And it only gets worse as you get better stuff. All right. I could probably throw steel on him, but I'm going to go with manipulate for now. All right. Let's rearrange everything. I want to once again have her with an all and a restore spell. Throw a heal spell over here and a revive spell. And let's do all. Hmm. 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 Let's do all lightning for now. Right, the next things I want to equip on her. Let's throw death blow. And let's throw a summon on her. Let's throw Shiva on her. Alright. I'm gonna load this motherfucker up with these guys here. Throw a long range on him so I can keep him in the back. Let's go with so that's D barrier D spell. Death. And I don't remember what any of those do. I know death is an instant kill, but it has a low hit chance. Demi is a good one, but I'm not worried about Demi. You know what? Why not? All right. Yeah, you know what? Throw a... Eh. Let's do steel. And let's give you Ifrit. So now he's our summoner that also hits like a truck with that crazy weapon we got for him from the back. She does heals. And some attacking. And he's just straight up physical for now. Hopefully with haste added to him every time the thing starts. And let's keep on keeping on. We may change that later. Once I get more stuff. Oh, shit. I could have just saved here. Well, I... You know why I'm gonna fuck it. Fuck it. Come on. Slot eins. There we go. Specialize the characters even more. Hey, look. It's Mount Nibble. Except this time we actually have to go through the whole thing. Come on, do I have haste? No, I do not. Damn it. Okay. Right, so he's gonna do Demi, which I believe is gonna do a quarter of their health. Yeah. Um, it does nothing to, like, bosses and stuff, but it takes a quarter health from regular enemies. Right. So let's see how much damage this guy actually does with that 68 attack. That's quite a bit, actually. One moment. Oh god! My kinder ruining everything. I'm conditioned black, I don't know what's going on, I'm panicking. Okay, we won. Alright. So haste didn't work with him.
So I'm not sure what we can do here. So I tell you what, I'm going to look it up really quick. What materia work with added effect? Linking it with your armor protects a status effect from attacking that character. Can be paired with Poison, Seal, Mystify, Transform, Time, Destruct, Contain, Chocomog, and Odin. And Hades. Notes. Equip on weapons to get 20 uh, inflict status. Uh, equip on armor to get immune to status. Level of the paired materia will, uh, does not matter. You will gain all statuses that materia can grant. Poison prevents poison. Time grants slow or stop. Destruct grants death. Hades grants sleep, poison, confusion, silence, frog, and small. And Odin grants death. So you can put added effect with Odin on a weapon. Um, and you have a chance of instant killing anything you hit. Using it with... Uh, words I can't think of. Sure, I get double one stuff up here. Put the other lightning in there. Why not? Budget. Level up our magic. But that's interesting. All right, so let's work our way through this. So this is another dungeon I'm not very happy with. I feel like the game kind of drags at this point here. Um, I did not heal myself. Honkers goes first. Oh boy. They do a lot of damage, man. Get him with that D blow. You know, I feel like I'm actually running, like, at or just below the level I'm supposed to be here, which that will change as soon as we get through basically this stream, because um, once we get to the end of this continent here, we get the ability to travel in shallow water and streams, like rivers. That's going to be important for us. Uh, because that'll give me an opportunity to get to one of the best early area... Uh, manipulation doesn't work. I couldn't steal anything. What a pain. I'm gonna put haste on him just because I want to get that fucking manipulation going. I am partially certain that this guy has something I need, but it's not working, so we're just gonna kill the shit out of him. God damn it. Pain in my ass. Stolen ether, though. That's nice. That's a bunch of gill I don't have to spend later. Is it gill or jill? I think it's gill. Like the thing on a fish. I received rune blade. That's why I came up here with a sexy new weapon. Lightning cover. Hit point plus. And... Something else here. Damn dog barking somewhere. Sorry, guys. Everything's just the worst today. Screw it, we'll throw poison on here. We're actually getting some good use out of poison, and that has some good uses later on as well. Combining Hades with added effect on... 
a weapon is probably really powerful because Hades is a end game summon that you can get that does like almost all the status effects. And so, um, but it takes a ton of stuff to use. Why not? I'll keep pasting myself. Oh, let's hit these numbers with Odin. Thor Ragnarok or something. I don't know. Hashtag. Nope, came to hang That's kind of sad. Oh, well, that's fine. The people who've been hanging out for the Final Fantasy streams can catch the archive. So here's Odin. He's badass. His horse has got six legs. He's going to chop the crap out of everybody. And they just literally split in half and die. And he's off. We did it. And that took like 50 magic points. That's nuts. So I don't need to go up here. This is optional side area, but uh, there are very good items up here, so I do not want to go up. Not now, not never. I should be using just regular attacks here. I mean, I don't want to take extra damage, and it'll only save me a turn. Really? But MP conservation is kind of important. Eh, it's not that important. Well, this matters. I got enough ethers to take care of the problem, and we're not... We're fine. Everything's fine. Get our asses up here. Grab this. Plus barrette. New weapon for him, but it sucks, but it does double. So, it'll be useful later. Always going to be useful later. It's going to be good for the grinding off screen and all that good trash. Get him with the bolt. No. What? I think her violent ill thing is over now. And so now she's just sitting around the house resting, or at least that's what I have her doing. So she's being a little derby. I don't know the term. Oh, I went the wrong way. That goes nowhere. Okay. No. Another random batudu. is getting his ass handed in quite a bit. Which is, I mean, understandable considering he's basically taking every physical hit. Still kind of annoying. As you can imagine. I think there's stuff I can do to increase his ability to dodge attacks on him later, but right now not so just all about leveling and using the materia effectively. That feels really good. There we go. So haste wasn't gonna work the way I wanted it to. No, I wanna go down. How do how do I how do I get down? You guys I don't remember Oh, here we go. Duck on it. I gotta remember how I got up here. Oh God! Scratch my head. All right. Remember the last time it broke? Yeah, it doesn't do that this time, so it's fine. Everything's fine. However, I think we can get down to that materia where it used to be. Why did that switch away? Okay, so I need to pay attention to where those things go because I do. Chocomog. I think those weird... those things 
might have an enemy skill, but I'm not sure. He froze his ass. Damn it. These guys' attacks take too damn long. Let's get him with the bolt and stuff. God, you're so fucking annoying. This is the annoying section of the game. But it gets much better once we get through the rest of this. I promise. Hey! Finally came in and used way too much MP right at the end when it didn't friggin' matter. Yeah, you're dead. You're killed by an adorable little marshmallow animal. Fuck with me. It's a good experience off of stuff like that. A lot better than it was doing in the damn fight itself. Alright, so basically if we went down one of those things we would be screwed. We want to go down here and we want to push that this. I'm gonna push that down. And then one other thing. Because basically there's a couple items that we can only get if we deal with that. Also the boss down there we got to deal with, but yeah. We'll be getting there soon. Who are you staring down? God, of course you fucking are. So these guys can totally stop the entire party and then just sit there and hurt us. Which it looks like they totally just fucking did. Are you kidding me? This would be a good time to have uh, haste and added effect on the goddamn thing. Good lord. Because, like, you're just stuck there waiting the whole damn time. Demi isn't that strong in this game. I don't know why I keep using it. Manipulate that ass. What you got for me? Wait around for him to get his stuff back. Absorb and stare down. Let's see if I can't get him to stop himself. I totally did. Now I'm gonna death blow him. Yeah. So death blow is, it's a higher chance of a critical hit than a regular attack, but if you don't get the critical hit, you miss. Um, Edgelord, fuck you dad, I think, yeah. Fuck you dad's character. Um, needs death blows for his ultimate weapon because his damage is based on how many death blows he's connected with. Um, sounds a little weird. Yeah, we're just gonna go through these numerically. There's the first one. There's a couple extra areas to check out around here that we will definitely check out. But... Damn it. I was just a little too slow. Oh, yay! I didn't get hit with all five of them. One of them went, missed, and now they're all going to get burnt to death. Yeah, you ain't shit. So I'm going to explore as much of this as possible. I don't know if that's going to end up working well for me or not. But All right, so one took us nowhere. Let's see where two goes, then three, then four, and blah, 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 blah. Eventually, we want to end up at that item down there on that platform. Because we can't jump to the platform, but we can jump back from the platform. Also, I don't think we have to go into the reactor here. I know we can. But I don't think we have to. And I don't remember if we're going to get anything for going in there. Alright, did y'all fuckers just stop all of us again? Totally did. 
fuck. It's really annoying. And you don't have this problem in many other areas in the game. It's just this stretch of this stream that I'm doing here. Once we get out of here, it becomes much better. Much less wildly frustrating, you know? Went down two. It's time to go down three. Three's there. So it's four and five are the ones we need. One of them's gonna drop us off by that item, the other one's gonna drop us off at the item. At the, the chest, the treasure chest. Man. Wish I'd gone in descending order instead of ascending. Gonna save me some time. There's the boss down there we have to fight. I think he may be optional. Could be wrong, though. One of these combinations of magic attacks is gonna kill all y'all. I swear. I promise. That did good. Hopefully Demi does a quarter of full health and not a quarter of remaining health. Looks like it's remaining. Damn it. So that was a waste again. At least it doesn't seem to use that much MP. Alright, let's keep on keeping on, shall we? Oh, I want to do four first. I received an all material, that's cool. And I can jump down here. And one last one. Oh shit, okay, uh, this is uh, not a problem, but this is a great place to grab that uh, enemy skill. I should be able to, yeah, okay. We cure ourselves while we work on this dragon. This was the dragon, if you remember, that we fought. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was stupid of me. Alright, I have flamethrower already, but this is where I can come back and get the flamethrower again pretty easily. Demi works on this guy. That healed him. Crap, I'm an idiot. Demi should do a fair amount. Nope, it doesn't do anything. He's classed as, or classified as a mini-boss, I guess. Stop magicking him. I got the limit break, which I'm gonna save for... I'm gonna save that limit break for the fight coming up. Guys. We'll use Chocomog. Actually stopping him will be useful. Hello, new person. Welcome to Stram. We're here in the Nibelheim Mountains, having a problem. Big problem. Oh, that did nothing. Fuck it, we'll hit him with that one more time. Get him with a bolt two. Hit him, hit him, kill him! It's not gonna kill me, it does like no damage. Oh! Would you look at that? Alright, we're gonna get a ton of experience from that, but 
Oh, we got nothing from that. We got a ton of AP. That's the most AP I think we've gotten at one time. MP. I believe we have to... No, you're not! How long have you been gone? Have you been gone this entire time, dude? So if you have, to gone it. Wait. Which... What? Fuck it. Fuck that item. I don't know how to get it. I don't remember. I'm annoyed now. Go over here. And completely negate the fact that I just used a bunch of ethers for no reason. You, like, physically left your home to get chips. I got it. Okay. Go back to Nibelheim. Mount Nibel. All right, we're going to fight this guy. Uh, this guy's boss. Uh, he's... Not really that much of a problem, but he has an enemy skill that I really want to use, or really want to get from him. Uh, he should... We're, we're basically going to sit here and tank his hits until he until he splashes us in the face with the stuff. Ah! Hey, where's Tano? Tano come hang out. Nothing to steal, huh? Can't manipulate. You see how much damage that guy does? You're gonna have to keep hitting click with stuff. The good news is... He's with his anal points. God! Try and manipulate you again. Let's show off Odin's regular non instant death attack. I don't think I'm going to be able to manipulate this. Holy shit! Well, time to use our first X potion of the run. I never find the fucking thing. There it is. So this one's cooler than the other one we saw, even though the other one actually cuts the enemies completely in half. Damn. Look at that damage. Alright, we got an X potion on him. See if I can't poison his ass. This is the only place you can get this um, limit break. Come on, stop hitting us with regular fucking attacks. You bastard. hit him good. Wow, he didn't block it. Oh, I just, I just healed the boss. Oops. I'm a mouth-breathing idiot. But everyone watching this knew this. Oh, she's going to give him the D blow. Stop with the damn big horn. Let me manipulate you. I know I can't manipulate him. I don't know why I keep trying. <laughs> Alright, this is not it. This is his... I really need to cure everybody now. He's out of regular attack. Because it gets him pretty much all of his MP back. Which, with 
him being the summoner is useful for him. Does it stop him? No, it doesn't stop him. I really want it to do the thing. Are you using trine? No, you're curing yourself. Oh, I just cast haste on the boss. God damn it. The, the menu manipulation in this game is fucking terrible. They fixed it in 8, which is awesome. Yes! This is what we want. Okay, we learned the enemy skill. Cast haste on the damn boss. But, with all these death blows coming up, it shouldn't be a problem. Should not be any problem. Yeah! Give me all my MPs back! Congratulations, you hit Kugaujo again. Shoot the meteors out of your face! That should be enough. Yep! Cool, we did it. We got them. We got the enemy skill, which is... You know how beta, when we got it many, many episodes ago, I think we got an episode three. We got, yes, counter. This is what I've been waiting for. Fuck you, poison. Counter attack. So now he will absorb hits for other characters and then hit the enemy back with a physical attack. That com er, mixed with cover becomes a ridiculous combo of just like every time the enemy attacks you almost always get an extra hit in it's really good all right fuck everything in here we're we're just leaving i'm just leaving i don't care anymore private investigator i don't know what that is doing anything Did I block it? I did block it. I blocked that one too. He didn't get any of the counters yet, damn it. Alright, we're through the really annoying shitty part of the game. Actually, it's not really that shitty, it's just annoying to me because it's all the... It's all the enemies at once that do all of the status effects, and they just give it to you in this big block that we've been dealing with for the past two hours. Screw that. Hey, we made it out. Thank Christ. Okay, next step is to head over this way to one of the coolest towns I think has been in any Final Fantasy game. Oh, neck pain. Head pain. Ow. Get you with the demi. All right, let's check out Trine. So what was I saying before? So how beta, when we got it, was a... Yeah, three's the max we got in this game, dude. Um, how beta was basically fire three, but as an enemy skill, so requiring less, um, less MP and being better overall. Trine is the, uh, the lightning version of that. Trine's really good. itch. Got a blue Kyle nut. Look at this fucking town. The big rocket sticking out of the ground. This place is so goddamn cool. Also, I can buy some really good weapons there. What's that? Oh shit, it's a big fucking rocket. Oh, it looks all messed up though. I wonder what's going on. Rusty old rocket. I wonder why they'd make something that huge for. I don't care. There's weapons. There's weapons to buy. A gun is a man's weapon. Ain't nothing else will do. Alright. I'm buying a bunch of gold armlets. Buy a shotgun for Vincent, who we will actually switch to soon. And if I remember correctly, there is one more... 
one more shop where I can buy some good stuff. I could be wrong. I could be completely 100% stupid. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Now, how am I talking to him through a wall? Get out of here. Shotgun. Equip shotgun. That means you missed what we named, uh... <laughs> you missed what we named old boy. Is it real or fake? I could be wrong about there being weapons here, damn it. Welcome to the Shanghai Inn. Wait, it's the next area I go. Yes, I will spend the night. Fuck it. Um... Shit, what was I talking about? X, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. I'm fairly important. I don't remember what it was, so fuck it. Oh, neck pain. I'm in here. He's pooping. What do you got? Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when the Shinra was still interested in their space program. He's going to be the world's first astronaut, but then there was an accident. He booped his pants. Oh, we named Vincent Fuck You Dad. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away dreaming about going to outer space. Did you see a man in black cape? Nope, don't know nothing about it. Drink will ease your heart. I'm trying to talk to the bartender. Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? You should talk with him. God, you guys are all fucking worthless. Let's go upstairs and see what we can grab here. There should be, like, items in here. I can't remember. I think it was the later Final Fantasies, but there's always an item. Or there... In one of them, there's always items in the fucking... Uh, in the inns and the actual rooms. And if you don't actually go and check it out... Here! This guy! Used to be a Shinra base where they used to launch rockets. See that leaning rocket? Right, I'm gonna stop that. That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. So this town is named number 26. Yeah, let's take a look. I'm talking about... Stop talking about the fucking animal punch. Shut the bitch, I'll eat your asshole out. Oh god, no, I won't. No, no. Retraction. Retraction, ain't no retraction. I am a sorry. I get impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of a hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Yoshiyuki. She take care of it and use it. If I remember correctly, Yoshiyuki is a weapon for him. It does a ton of damage, but doesn't have many slots. It's slotless. This is where I go to buy the good stuff. This is the item shop. This is not where I go to buy the good stuff. Oh! I can buy these uh, materia here. Exit is a really, really, really good one for later. Grab in here, anything to snatch up from your guys' houses. I'm robbing you. I'm ra fuck off, I'm robbing you. I guess I can't rob you. Okay. Alright, let's very quickly leave town and switch out. Uh switch out cucks a lot for Vincent. Fuck you, Dad! Alright, we can exchange with... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> Exit is kind of just that. Like, you're joking, but yeah. Oh, I named the little Japanese girl from this game hentai. Alright, there we go. Odin, Rama, Chokemog, Long Range. I can remove Long Range from him. And I'm gonna give him the death blow. Because like I said, it's important for him. So Shiva, Ice. Even Elemental, I gotta arrange that. Um Exit when you level it up. In the beginning, it's just an automatic escape skill that costs MP. Um, by the end of the game, once you have it leveled up all the way, you can use it to just instantly kill regular enemies, but it costs a ton of MP.
but like it doesn't even do hit point damage, it just kills them. AP is action points, I believe, yes. No, it's anal points, we determined this. Get it right, dick. All right, let's go look at this big sexy rocket. This big phallic device. This is actually really cool. We come back here later and do some cool shit with this dumbass rocket. Let's go up here and make a looky. Let's do a, a looky. Let's do a fighting. D blow. So you're gonna see how much of an edge Lord Vincent is when we get to him. His his limit break is that he turns into monsters. Oh shit! I can't even go in here. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay. You lose control of him, but he turns into these monsters with, like, these super powerful uh, skills. Uh, but you can't control him. So you don't want to put, like, the healing items on him. You want to put the stuff on him you can afford to lose if uh, you use his... Um, uh, if you use his, his limit break. Some of them are pretty cool, though. His level 3 limit break turns him into Frankenstein that does chaos dunks from uh, uh, Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. He does basketball dunks. Get the f- No! Receive drill arm. Drildo. I received a drildo. Right, let's get out here. Hey, look. It's a plane. I want this. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Wonder if we can borrow it. Oh God! It's a it's a woman. Kill it. No. We're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cleegs. I'm Honkers. Nice to meet you. Fuck you, Dad. My occupation is forget it. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra. I thought the approval for the reopening of the space program came. Huh? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Actually, the reason they come here is incredibly dumb. Alright, now we need to go to the rocket. I did everything out of sequence and wasted everyone's time. Just wait till you see his in-game model. And his death blow is he spins his his uh, rifle or pistol or shotgun or whatever he has around. He spins it around like Revolver Ocelot and then fires the damn thing. <laughs> it's really bad. the type of shit that drives teenage white boys in the Midwest to start wearing those big one pant legs pants that the goth from the Hot Topic. What are you guys doing here? No, it's Ska! Ska came before reggae. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. We heard the captain was here. This is legitimately one of my favorite characters in the game. Captain, I'm the captain. He's so cool. Look at him. He's just smoking, and he stabs people. Uh, what should we name, what should we name him? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna name him Captain. Captain. Captain Ass. <laughs> the name's Captain Ass. Everyone calls me Captain. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. Oh shit, tell me about this rocket. <laughs> wow, not bad for a kid. All right then, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? They never really go into the Meaningless War. Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger, just like my captain asked. 
They put a major budget into it and made a prototype, made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in, the, in Shinra, no, in the world, me. I mean, come on. Captain Ass. God, I love that. And finally, when we get to the Dale launch, everything was going so well. But because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. It has nothing to do with the Captain Ass. And so Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans after they told me how the future was space exploration and got my hopes up. Damn them! And their Captain Ass! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. They're supposed to be the first man in space with this. Final Fantasy totally kind of goes into space in this game. And Final Fantasy VIII. And IX. They go into space in seven, eight, nine, maybe six. They don't do it in 10. They don't do it in 11. They don't do it in 13, 14, or 15. Yeah, seven, eight, and nine, they go into fucking space. Grenade tilts a little more. At this rate, I don't know which will come first. This thing falling down or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. My last hope is to talk to the president. Yes, I know I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, dude, there's a space section in this game. You should check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> This is supposed to be like a slum theme because it also plays in the the sex, uh, the the sex district in uh, Midgar. Sex, Mr. Ass, Captain Ass. I'll give you that, Captain Ass. The next step is to go over here. So there's a reason I talked to that guy besides the fact that he gave me a sick, awesome weapon. Excuse me, Cligs. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. It's the captain. Bitch, Shiro, what are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea, ass. I'm sorry. She sits there and takes the abuse. She just takes it. She just takes the abuse. Yeah! Really don't mind us. <laughs> Shut up. Sit your ass down in the chair and drink your goddamn tea. Arg, oh, damn, I'm pissed. Cher, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve him some tea, aight? Aight, home dog? G, home it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Like, poor Shara. Sorry, it's our fault. No, he's always like this. They just throw this guy's backstory at you and make you sit through it. It's amazing that you can live with it. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? I got pregnant! Eat more of these rich crackers, because I'm a fucking fat kid. Ha! I got a I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking the fucking oxygen tank. Sure, being careful is good, but it won't do any good no matter how many times you try to do anything. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. Remember that. But. I said but. No buts. I'm Captain Ass. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. <coughs> being murdered on stream by a Ritz cracker. Our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. <laughs> Perhaps complete all that's left is the lift off. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. <laughs> to space! Thanks, guys. Praying for your safety, Captain Ass. <laughs> Sounds like he should be working at a club in San Francisco. Shinner number 26, ready for launch. 
Pressure rising. Three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the what half off? We have an emergency situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's the little fucker? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Shara! Hey, who the still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing here? I'm still concerned the results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch. You're going to get so hot in there that there ain't going to be shit left when we blast off. You're going to be burnt to a crisp. You're going to die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. She going to die. Almost done. You're going to die. We must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Why? Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. Shara's still in there. What are you going to do, Captain Ass? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara. You want to make me a murderer? Captain! Shara! Tank number seven is complete. Once I check tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara. Hurry up. You're going to die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. So, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What am I supposed to do? So I have to actually press the button again to make him cancel, but I can just sit here and just watch. And just let him think it over. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Four, three, two. She's gonna die. Shit. So I totally let it go. I didn't want to save her. I want to go to the moon. I'm an adult. But he canceled it. And this happened. These old CG cutscenes. And then it just kind of slowly starts leaning over. And... Bam. Dick music. We did it. And that's how that happened. So, you know... It's all her fault and his fault for not just being like, yeah, I'm going to murder you. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, Burp. aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was canceled. It's my fault. His dream was destroyed. That's why it's all right. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Because he did what any normal human being probably would have done. You saw and throw some tea, I'll kill you, woman. I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. They're late. Where's Rufus? A fucking Palmer. So, Captain Ass, how you been? If it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long are you figuring on keeping me waiting? So when's the space program going to start up? I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you ask him? Fuck. Good for nothing, fat fuck. He totally put his foot on the table. Don't say fat! I'm not fat! God! Tea. Can I have some too with lots of sugar and honey? And oh yeah, don't forget the lard. You put lard in tea? That's gross. All right, let's go see the let's go see the guy. You got me all excited for nothing. What'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Fuck! First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took outer space away from me, now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. This part's fun. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's gonna take it. Why don't you go talk to him? I'm gonna kill this fat man. 
Why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. Hey, Tubbs. Hey, tons of fun. Hey, Captain Dozen Donuts. Hey, Krispy Kreme. Hey, Truffle Shuffle. Be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know the Shinra building when the president was killed. Gulp! Security! Oh, it's a big fight! But there's no security, so I'm just gonna shoot you. Also, look at the shotgun he has equipped. It's just a pistol. Yeah, we got them all. Yeah, punch that fat man in his punch! Yeah! Dolphin blow! I punched him with a dolphin! I am the biggest and the strongest dolphin puncher! Yeah, he shot him! Hit him with trine. So this is, if you can't tell already, he does a little bit of damage, but this is pretty much a joke fight. Plus, look at him dancing at us. We're killing an old man with terrible magic. He does have a ton of hit points, though. Let's hit you with a naked woman. Oh, hey, we can turn him into a beast. Hopefully you'll get to see it. Put some clothes on. This is a family-friendly channel. Where I just spent a minute calling a fat guy different fat joke, fat shaming names. Family friendly. Look at him. He basically turned into a smaller, more pumped up behemoth. He gets all his health back when he does it though. He's got flare attacks. He used him to kill it. Yeah, dance around, that's fine. What? He almost got his head chopped off. That would have been terrible. Later. Go. Did I tell you about being quiet? Oh, you got hit by a truck! This is awesome. Also, that's never explained why there's just suddenly a truck hitting him. Oh, we actually got experience and AP for fighting him. And an Eden coat, which is really good. Remember that time we watched a fat man get hit by a truck after shooting him a bunch of times? It's not gonna stop. Fuck you, Dad. Forget it. Get in. This is fun. This is a dumb fun thing. So no one's flying this thing. It's just going. He got hit by a truck. Oh, I can move around on this while it's going. I can't do anything with it. Oh, look! Ah! Oh, go for it, Captain Ass! Why are they shooting at us? I want to use that. I can keep moving on here. Oh, God! We can move around and I don't get to do anything. The tail's been hit. Yeah, no shit. Emergency landing. It's gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. I don't know. Bad translation stuff. Oh God, we're in the water. We're gonna have to eat each other to survive. I say we eat honkers as honkers first. And second and third. She won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Yeah. I can do whatever you want. Captain Ass, what are you going to do now? Don't know. I'm history with the Shinra and I've given up on the town. How about your wife? How about Shara? Wife, don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. Because I'm Captain Ass and I'm only interested in one thing. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. Don't know about any of that, but what the hell? Sign me up.
How about it, everyone? Do whatever you like, Dad. Ugh. You need to go buy a hot topic. I need to buy more mascara. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So where are we headed? Rufus is going after Sephiroth towards the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients. To know that numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction and we've been going north. So maybe it's off this way to the south. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. Ancients, that name bothers me. Alright, so this is the point in the game where we can do some side content, but more importantly, this is the point of the game where we get access to the best early game leveling area. Uh, to the point where the next time you see you guys see these characters, they'll probably be level 60. Alright, so on that note, that was our dramatic finale for the stream today. So I want to thank everybody who came out, X. <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody who came out today. I am Wu-Tang, and this is our Twitch channel. If you enjoyed this, you should follow the channel. Uh, this video will be archived over on our YouTube channel, which you can find in the links below. We also do one-off videos that are you know, funny little things and uh, full Let's Plays of other games over there as well. Um, if you are interested in that type of stuff, you should click on the link and you should subscribe over there as well. Also in the links below, you'll find our Twitter account, which is where we update on uh, when videos get released and when videos get released and uh, when new uh, streams are going to be coming out. All the announcements will go there. So uh, follow us there, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us here. Once again, thanks everybody who came out. I hope you all had a good time, and I will see you next time.